Hey guys, good afternoon. How are you guys doing? Hopefully everybody's doing pretty good. So today I wanted to create another video to help you guys to be able to create and master and bring your reality into a state of allowance. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today, I'm going to show you is visualizations. I'm going to show you how to correctly visualize. I'm going to show you the keys to create this and make it come into your world as a reality. Okay? Perceived reality therein. So let's begin. So here's how, here's how we begin, guys. Remember, thought without thought nothing happens thought precedes energy energy creates reality as you perceive so without thought nothing happens so you must have to see or have an image of what you desire within your mind first it's called your imagination your thinking your desires all these are produced via your conscious mind so how does it work well first here's something to consider the physical things or the material things that you're looking at this car for example that I'm touching and I'm feeling it looks physically real but here is something to consider the things that make the physically real objects the building blocks of those things are not even real okay Let me repeat that again the things that make the real stuff aren't real themselves so how can this be real? Okay? Here's how it works, guys. Everything that is ever created in the universe creates our bind with quantum particles, with matter, with energy, with protons, neutrons, electrons, nucleus, quartz. Okay? Quarks. We call them quarks now. We have new, we found we have discovered new uh, quantum material. All these things create this. Your house. You and I. They aren't real, they're energy. So how can these be physically real or materially real as we say? Well, we've discovered through quantum physics or quantum mechanics that our perception becomes our reality. What does that mean? It means what you focus on more with thought, emotional, and feeling energy must materialize and become your reality, okay? So today, I'm going to show you how it works and how to use this force which is thought energy, visual energy, to bring in and manifest your reality, okay? Here's how it works, guys. So, your imagination is what God, the universe, gave you when you first came. Think about this. Why do I have imagination? Why, is, why, is my, why can I use my mind to constantly dream, to fantasize, to see things I want? Well, here's a key. It wasn't put into your mind to tease you, my friend. The, your desires and your visuals and everything you can see in your mind was put there for you to really experience. But how we were conditioned and how we were taught is where the buck stops. Because we were all conditioned a certain way on how to think and how to use our minds. This all started when you were young. First thing they tell you as you're going through school or anywhere in life, stop daydreaming, stop imagining, get into the real world. What you're ineffectively doing, my friend, you're cutting off your thought and emotional and imagination and imaginative energy that the universe gave you. Okay? Remember, the information that you're learning from this channel, guys, and the information on how to use your mind and how to how thoughts interact with quantum world, with particles, with, with all this energetic force. Only 10% of the world population knows this secret. That means 90% of all in other individuals are either ignorant or they are prisoners of their own mind, they don't know how the, how the universe works. And they believe that what they're taught, how their uh, society has shown them and programmed, this is how the world works. It's incorrect. We've been doing things backwards for the last 2,000 years. And here I'm, I'm gonna show you how it works. Using the science and the mental aspect, and show you how your mind works, how your brain works. Look, all these things have proof. This is why I created that Facebook group now. You can go into the Facebook group. It's called Manifesting Lottery Winnings Using Consciousness and Law of Attraction. And you can see the proof. Because one thing is objectively clear. The universe does not lie. Quantum physics does not lie. Your mind cannot lie. These are principles. Go to the page. You can see winners, lottery winners. 50,000, 250,000, all within the past week. I constantly get bombarded every day with emails of individuals winning, winning large amounts. Some are very private, they don't want to share it with the group, but it, they're there, they're using these principles and they're it's working. Also, what I've done now, I've created a website to help you guys. Now, within this website, 
I've designed a program where I can accelerate the learning process so you guys can get in there learn the information and then I can get you in to coach I will cut the coaching time down instead of taking two months to grasp the concepts you can get it in about a month okay the website that I've created is markahaughton.com be sure to check it out go through the courses once you finish the course you can contact and I can get you to get into coach so you can get in to see how your mind works and how you can create abundance wealth whatever you want all aspects of life okay it's a system that once you put it into practice play you will see the results so let's show you how to correctly visualize all right so to visual to visualize what you want to do is this you basically you want to make sure you close your eyes okay you have the, these visuals I'm about to show you or impart to you it's known as auditory and visuals okay we're gonna do an auditory and a visuals here's how we're gonna do this our brains particular our subconscious mind our brains are creatures our brains are habits of repetition your brain is designed to learn by repetition the more you put something into your brain the more it incorporates it and it puts it in and it filters it and it forms an imprint and now your subconscious mind picks that information up turns it into a habit and creates a reality based on that so how do you visualize here's what you want to do make sure you want to close your eyes okay you want to see the things you desire in an end thinking format the end result not the beginning not the middle not the how the why how, when just see yourself experiencing it having the very things you desire that's the first key second key format when it comes to visuals is you must practice to put an emotional or feelings at feeling attached to it so I hear this question all the time mark how do I feel as if I'm a millionaire how do I feel as if well you're looking at it from the wrong perspective it's, it's very simple this is how you do it you ask yourself this simple question how would I feel if I have this or if I have that how would I feel when I win 20 million dollars how would I feel if I get that job I'm desiring how would I feel if I get that new car how would I feel if I get my new girlfriend boyfriend how would I feel when I have this or that that is where you gauge it now based on how you feel that is what feeling as if means and it's very simple you either feel the emotion of being happy excited etc that's what it means to feel so when you're visualizing you must visualize and see in that format and see now for beginners I recommend you to do this visual at least five days a week for the next one month you can take two nights off why because I want to build repetition within your mind and within your brain the more you repeat it the more it will sustain so you want to do five days a week five nights for the next one month okay so here's what happens the first time you may have difficulty seeing yourself in the in the actual image or as you may see yourself as a third person that's fine your brain the more you repeat it your brain will accelerate and it will get used to it okay that's the first part now here's the crucial part now here's the next part so we're going to create what is known as an end thinking visual so you'll see it in your mind your subconscious will pick it up remember subconscious mind does not know the difference between what is real or imagined okay here's the second part of this visual now we're going to create an auditory visual. So we're going to create sort of a movie script in your voice. So here's what you do. You grab your voice recorder from your smartphone and you record your own voice in a visual voice format. Instead of seeing it, now you're going to speak it. We'll give an example. Let's use house, car, or lottery. So the voice visual will go somewhere like this. Record. Wow, it feels beautiful. It feels nice to be in my wonderful new car. I love the smell of my new leather car. I am now up going into my brand new home. I love being in my five bedroom house. The wood floor smells very good. Let me check my bank account. Wow, I love being a lottery jackpot winner. I love waking up and seeing business money being deposited into my bank account every day. See the format I put there, right? I am just speaking what I have. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm experiencing it. Notice how I'm not putting how I got it, when I got it, why I got it. Very crucial. If you do that, you're out of creation. You're in your ego mind. You're not creating. So you have to stay within that creative, higher conscious mind. So what you do is now you have your auditory and now you have your mind. So what do you do? Every night before you go to bed, you play that voice recorder back with your own voice, saying everything you want, you desire. And for each scene that your voice creates, for example, I say, I love being in my new five bedroom house. I love the smell of my new wood floor. While, my, while I'm listening to my voice saying those words, I'm putting the image in my mind. 
something magical happens. What happens? Now your subconscious mind becomes even more alive. Because what? You're using a double amplification system. You're using auditory and visual. Remember, your subconscious mind does not know the difference between what is real or imagined, so therefore it accepts it. Your mind hears your own words. Validation number one. Your mind now sees your own thoughts. Validation number two. That creates highly electromagnetic frequencies. These frequencies emit, the universe picks them up. Before you know it, you have what you desire. It's very, very powerful visuals. A lot of individuals, a lot of law of attraction teachers, they may not show you how to do, use these things, but this is what you do. You put them together, your mind put, creates the framework for you, your subconscious now will figure out the how, the why, the when, boom. There you go, you have it. So for beginners, I would recommend you doing this five days a week, one month. Get your mind in that habit, that repetition, repetition habit. For advanced um, practitioners, what you want to do is do this three times a week. Just a visual now, nightly, right before you go to bed. Now, you can think about and you can daydream on your desires all day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, as long as you don't bring these factors in, which is how, why, when. Don't try to figure out details. Don't try to figure out when, because here's what happens. You are now entering a limited capacity mind. Now, when your mind can't figure it out, what happens? It loses energy. Now you doubt, you get depressed, you get disconfused. Now you're vibrating low, you cut yourself off. See, the minute you start to figure it out, you are out of your highly creative mind. That's what your mind is designed to do, my friends. Subconscious mind processes about 40 bi 4 billion bits of information per second, man. Your conscious mind, you're only processing 60,000 thoughts per day. That's it, man. You have a limited mind. One creates, one does not. Subconscious creates, conscious mind cannot. The minute you're in that part of the mind, you stop creating, okay? So this is how you will visualize. You do it, don't put how, why, when, boom. You will see the results, okay, guys? So those are my quick tips for today. And thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you again.